Hi and I'm back and today I'm doing how to decide what to draw number two which is where I do like a scribble and then turn it into a drawing. I'll put the link to number one in the description it's one of my most viewed videos and I decided to just do it again and what a scribble I gave myself. Um, I really should have stopped and just made it easier for myself. So I looked at this for like five minutes and I couldn't do anything so then I turned it all different ways and decided that upside down was just the best and then I blue tacked it to my desk so it wouldn't move too much for you guys Um, really roughly penciled in like some lines Um, I'm gonna be honest and say that it's not the best like it's not totally accurate because I tried not to use references I think the only thing I really referenced was um, the pattern on the squirtle shell and oh, Snorlax because I forgot what he looked like but I was pretty happy with it Charmander looks a bit demented but I think that was just because um, obviously the, the hook that I drew on the original um, like shape that I gave myself it was just too short so I had to make Charmander there really short but he looks so happy once he's coloured so I don't even mind um, why did I do Pokemon? I don't know. Originally I thought, well the hook that Charmander's head, that reminded me of Charmander so I thought right I'm going to do Pokemon and I thought oh it could be on a Snorlax for some reason and then the vine that is from Bulbasaur, I originally I was going to make it Ash Pokemon Snorlax with a stick and then I thought Sam that's a terrible idea so I decided not to draw Ash because I can't draw Ash and then just to put all the and squirrel in there, just dementing this poor little Snorlax that's just taking a nap. Um, any other ideas that I had? No, I mean, I didn't spend too much time on the, the drawing because it's like a how to decide what to draw. It's like trying to get you motivated to draw some things. And it did, it really did. I liked it at the end. It's a lot better than I thought it would be when I was doing the rough little pencil lines. But it is nowhere near perfect and that was sort of the point of it and yeah it was just a mega quick drawing and I think it's quite cute especially when it's like put side by side with the, um, the lines which I'll do at the end but there's a closer shot and feel free to watch how to decide what I draw number one and um, check out my other videos and feel free to subscribe and comment what you want me to draw next or if you've got a challenge you want me to do next I would love to hear some of those so I'm going to show the original scribble and the drawing side by side now and yeah I will see you next week thank you for all the views and stuff and bye